Oh my god, we're hitting 327,000! I mean, hey, if you weren't convinced already to pull Fei Zhao, there you have it. You know, I actually do play Star Rail every day, but I never was able to clear Memory of Chaos last stage. In this video, we are about to find out if Fei Zhao can carry me through this. I'ma be real, I'm a casual plap, I'm a noob at Star Rail. All I wanna do is pull beautiful women and then I also hope that they are strong. Which definitely should be the case for Fei Xiao. Fei Xiao is the newest hunt unit in Star Rail. I was lucky enough to get at least one copy of her. And one thing I love about Star Rail is that the game was always casual and free to play friendly. You only need to pull one copy of the character and most of the time that's just enough. It can literally push you through the whole game. This has been the case with Acheron, such a beautiful woman, also Firefly, she's too cute, and they both have been carrying me pretty much through the game, but I sadly could never finish the Memory of Chaos last stage. As you guys can see, I also have pretty much the best team that you can have for Fei Xiao, and I hope I am able to finish Memory of Chaos this time. And because I'm so convinced that everybody should have Fei Xiao because she's so freaking broken and beautiful, make sure to check out the link below to download Star Rail today and start your journey with this great turn-based RPG game with a beautiful fox waifu. And thanks for Star Rail for sponsoring this video. You guys can also see that I also got her light cone which increases her crit trade and I think her light cone is pretty good. But I don't want to go too much into details. This should be the POV of a casual player which makes it probably more interesting for all these meta players out there that will probably get triggered while I play this game. Man, I just cannot stop looking at her. Why is she so beautiful? One of the coolest things about her that I didn't show you guys yet is her skill when you are in the open world. Basically what the skill does, it is kind of a vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna show you guys, this is just one of the most fun things you can do in this game. Look at this. Fight. You can suck these enemies in and they start floating around you. I think it's one of the best skills in this game. And you can also attack them. Isn't that a crazy good animation? She's also very interesting to play. As you guys can see, every attack charges up her ult, and when you use her ult, she starts to enter this very cool, what do I call it? Epic form? <laughs> and she literally starts floating in the air with the enemy that she's about to attack. There's like stacks about it, and yeah, the more stacks you have, the more attacks you can do. Let's do some attacks here. I mean, they definitely cook through these animations. I guess my team is pretty good. We are about to find out if it's actually able to destroy MOC now, I guess. Let's jump into it. All right, here we are at the Memory of Chaos. You can see already that I did not finish it. I got some teams here prepared. I didn't try it yet. And as you guys have seen, we only got three uh, two stars in floor 11. I'm about to find out if I can even reach one star in floor 12. I think in the second team, I'm going to use Acheron. So we kind of have like a comparison damage wise. I really want to see if Acheron does more damage than Fei Xiao. The only issue I always have with Acheron is that she needs nihility characters. I think just Fei Xiao is way more flexible. You can put Fei Xiao in so many different teams, while Acheron is literally limited by nihility units. Start buffing up. The big moment is coming. Can I even suck in the enemies, by the way? Um, I guess not. Okay. That would have been funny though. I mean, I'm playing without a healer, so I do hope adventuring can at least help us stay alive. And I'm not sure if I should play this in autoplay or not, but in the end, I think the AI is actually a better player than me. <laughs> so I will just let the AI play for me. All right, so far we've been doing good. Honestly, I don't even know how to reach three stars. Is it that I need to be faster with the rounds? But I think damage-wise, we're actually pretty good. Even adventuring is insane in this team. Wow. The more units you have that attack really fast, it's gonna charge up Feishao's ult very fast. I watched a little bit of guide, so... Oh my god, we're hitting 327,000! Wow. Oh no, we're getting dominated. What does this even mean? Yeah, people are gonna be so triggered probably in the comment section. Because I'm letting it autoplay. There's probably so many things I could do better. There she is, she's coming back with her ult. There we go, hit her. Give it to her. Kafka is not meta anymore, okay? You gotta prove it to her. Wait, we got another ult already. And it's hitting so hard. 22, oh my god, 220,000. Kafka is dead. It's GG. 
Oh my god, we're actually doing so good damage. The only reason I pulled Robin is literally Fei Shao. Because I heard that Fei Shao is gonna be good with her. And yeah, we can see it here. 360, that's a new record. Let's see if Akron actually can beat these numbers. Okay, we got the first ult here. Let's see the damage. Whoa, 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 relax. <laughs> okay, 500,000. Gotta keep in mind, this was also multiple targets. And yeah, Fei Shao was literally hitting one target. Since Fei Shao is also a hunt unit, it makes sense that she's better for single targets. Oh god, that doesn't look good. We are dying. We, we can carry this with Akron. Oh no. Oh. Okay, bro fell off. GG's. So the thing is, Fei Shao actually did clear everything easily. And at this point, the title of the video has been proven. Fei Shao can literally carry everybody, probably. Every casual gamer. But now, let's give Firefly a try. This is it. 4%. I mean, 5. Oh, there we go. Nice, we did it. Two stars, even. No downed characters. At least 10 cycles left. Perfect. I think this is literally the first time that I ever cleared MOC 12, by the way. What else can I say? I think Fei Shao literally just carried me. If you're struggling in the game, if you're a casual player, if you're a pleb like me, just pull Fei Shao. And thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. Subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.